and the steps that I have allocated for myself and just realize it instantly and any inspiration, motivation or energy to burn out. Hey guys! Today I would want to bring out some really important topic and basically I'm talking about this because I have been in this situation myself and I'm seeing a lot of people, a lot of people who I know are also diving in. Therefore, the topic for today would be the burnout. And to be honest, I am planning to separate this topic into two because the first step what you would really want to do is to define that you are currently burning out because sometimes this is not pretty much obvious and people are thinking without really realizing they are. And the second topic would be how to recover when you finally realize that you are absolutely burned out and you do not have any powers to continue doing what you do. Now, if this sounds like somewhat familiar to you, then you would definitely want to keep on watching. Hey there, my name is Chris and you are in my project management sandbox. Here on my channel I'm sharing tips and tricks on IT project management and all the relevant professional stuff. Now, if you want to keep watching, make sure you're subscribed and all your notifications are set. Otherwise, you will definitely miss out something important. A little disclaimer, guys, I'm not a therapist, and in this video I'm sharing my personal experience and the steps that I have allocated for myself in order to prevent similar cases in the future. I hope that this could be useful for you as well, but again, this is my experience only. So the problem with the burnout is that it has the cumulative effect, meaning when people are tired at work, when they sometimes feel exhausted, this not necessarily mean they're burning out. However, the more you are engaged, the deeper you are in your project, the more complicated it is to define that you are diving in. So this is also called like professional depression, I would say, because similar with the depression, people do not realize that they are burning out. And here is actually the danger, because when you finally define that you have completely burned out, you are far, far away from the first step when you can just realize it instantly and do some activities that can help you not to sink in this ocean. So, getting back to my story, basically I was so much involved and engaged in my projects, like many of you are, that simply when the time comes, it was too far away for me. Another problem that I recognize, it is really hard to say stop for yourself, meaning when you are constantly running this marathon, you just keep going further, you keep doing more and you are continuously taking more than you can actually produce. So. At the end of the day, when I finally defined that I was on the edge and that I cannot actually afford myself to taking more, my business day lasts for about 12 to 14 hours every day and even sleeping over the weekend didn't help me to recover by Monday and to find some powers or energy to stay on the top of my efficiency as I could have done this before. To let you know in advance, it took me several months to recover until the moment when I realized that I'm ready to continue doing what I used to do at the same pace. So the point of this video is to give you an understanding, an idea on how to define if you are currently burning out and what is the right moment to say stop for yourself in order to undertake some activities for protecting your mental and emotional health on your professional journey. So the first bell you would want to pay special attention to is your having issues with sleep. Meaning the business day is over, you're sure you have done everything possible that was planned for today. However, when the time comes to go to bed, you cannot even start falling asleep. You continue rolling in your bed and you continue rolling thoughts in your mind about possible project risks, about project issues, change requests that have been addressed, new deadlines that stakeholders have put on you. Well, finally, you cannot just stop thinking about. And at the end of the night, you can simply lose any hope to fall asleep. And what we usually do? We are just sitting up, taking our laptop and start polishing the project plan, start 
recording project risks or potentially we are starting to do what is planned for tomorrow. So basically this is extremely negative experience and it causes a lot of fatigue. It prevents you from having rest and it eats a lot of your energy. Bell number two that you would want to pay your attention to is unhealthy work environment. What I'm talking about is the continuous pressure at work that we may experience on a regular basis. For instance, absolutely inefficient and unstructured meetings, or demands to stay over times or to stay at work when we are actually do not meant to be there, for instance, overnight or on weekends. Continuously addressed challenges without proper recognition when you are hitting any goals. Basically, when you are put into the not healthy and not secure work environment, it eats a lot of energy. Initially, it might seem something normal and something that people are dealing with on a regular basis. But be honest with yourself. This is not a healthy situation and if you are continuously being under the pressure, it will definitely have a negative impact further on. Bell number three. Lacking the opportunity to sleep well and being constantly under the pressure could lead you to no desire to start your business day. Obviously, this could happen to anyone once or twice when we are just not ready to start doing our work at regular hours. However, if you start feeling this constantly, if every business day doesn't bring any joy for you and you prefer to not wake up in the morning rather than starting your business day again, you need to pay attention to this. What is more, it could get even worse. So, bell number four, you're getting annoyed with everything that you do at work. You're not happy to communicate to people. You're not happy to work on your projects and to do the stuff that you got used to do and that you were happy about doing previously. And you're basically irritated about everything that is going on during your business days, no matter whether you are in the office or at home. And the final fifth stage of this burnout journey is when you completely have no opportunity to get rest even over the weekend. So during the weekend you're continuously thinking about your work. You're just thinking about the possibility not to start this business day on Monday again and when it comes it brings only more irritation than you had before. So that is the final point when I ended up about a year ago. Thus, be sure to pay special attention not only to what you do at work, but also to how do you feel about what you do at work. At the end of the day, we spend the majority of our time for our jobs, and if we do not feel any inspiration, motivation or energy to do what we like to do or to do what we have to do, we are not gonna bring any value either to ourselves or to others. So remember, burnout is an enemy of productivity. And be sure to pay special attention to those five bells that I have listed in this video. In the upcoming episode, I'm going to be sharing the activities that helped me to recover from the burnout and can also help you if you feel that you are getting to the similar stage. Meanwhile, don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to tap the notification bell if you would want to be notified about the next video that is coming up. Ciao then! Bye!